I'm not here at Bass Pro, no Sports Fish Warehouse. I'm not here for some ammo. I'm actually here to go check out some ice fishing gear. A lot of you guys have been requesting some ice fishing video. So I don't have any ice fishing rod or anything like that. So let's go buy a new uh, fishing pole. I was gonna make a fishing pole just with like some PVC pipe that I have and tie some fish line to the end of it. But then I know that's kind of ghetto and you guys probably want to see something better. So I'm gonna pick up some fishing gear and then uh, meet up with the buddy next couple days here because he has the whole setup. He has all the drills and the tent and all that good stuff. So let's go see what they have, man. This is my first time doing some ice fishing shopping here in Alaska. I think this is a fishing pole here. Yeah, is this made for ice fishing? <coughs> Pocket combo. <coughs> I might just get one of these little guys here. Get something like that for ice fishing. So I'm not sure what's exactly considered ice fishing pool. Maybe something under two, three foot. <coughs> Let's see how big these guys are. These are what? Complete fishing pool. <coughs> 32 piece. So this right here is a... It doesn't tell me how... It doesn't tell me the height of this pool, but I'm assuming this is a good height right here. I'm assuming this is like a four footer. Four foot pool. 20 bucks, not bad at all. Let's go look around for a little bit. They got some more right here. This is what I'm considering as a ice pool right here. This is what I wouldn't use. Two footer. These are made for kids. We do want some results, guys. If I'm gonna spend some money on this ice fishing trip, I wanna see some results. We'll check out all the gears right here later, all the layers. We got 25% off these guys right here. These are five footers. Not bad, this one here might be the way to go. A little nice five footer Shakespeare Crusader. I think I'm gonna get this one here. This is a good deal. I think I just found the ice fishing stuff. Look at all this. These are ice fishing pools, guys. What the heck was I looking at? These are the real ice fishing pools. Yeah, these are little two footers. I think this is what I want right here, two footer, because the four, the five footer is just way too long. Yeah, they have a whole selection right here made for ice fishing. What the heck was I looking at? But these guys don't come with the real. Oh man, we're missing out. We're gonna go ahead and get these two footers right here. Check out the price of these fishing poles. They're like 80 bucks for this guy right here. You know, I never knew that fishing was just so expensive. I don't go for luxury poles. <coughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for the cheapest one I can find. I want a two footer for sure. I think I like the one over here. So this one's 39, 40 bucks for that guy. 30 bucks. Uh, we might go with a two footer. These are considered two footers. Oh, they're kind of nice. See how they are? They're not rounded. They're like flat steel rod. Not bad. And this is overwhelming. So much selection to choose from. 80 bucks for this guy here. What is this? This is a Fenwick. So Fenwick and a Fluger reel. Dude, ice fishing is crazy, man. All right, I think we might have to go with something like around this guy here. Let me look around, see which one I want to go with. This one's nice, 30 bucks for a two footer. This is a, this is a small one. Look how cute this one is. It's nice and heavy at the at the back right here. Oh, this is nice right here. This is like a what, two footer? Nice. This one's pretty nice, 30 bucks. Comes with the rod rail, some lines. <laughs> It's made, uh, it's rated up to some heavy water trout, <coughs> eight pound, six pound line. I've never knew that uh, ice rod, they're like flat. They're not rounded like your typical one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I like the color too. Red looks nice. So let's go with this guy here. I like this one, red one. And then we'll go get some uh, bait and some other stuff. Yeah, so this one looks, looks like the best one so far. This one's the same one. 
Same one, same wrong. They got some really nice one over here too. These guys are nice. Yeah, I don't want to get too fancy though, but this one is nice. Let's go with this one, guys. Our new fly rod, our new fishing pole. These are some nice chair rectangle chair this is the type of chair that you want for fishing my mother-in-law she just bought me a regular camping chair for Christmas so I'm just gonna use that big one but this one is really nice perfect let's go check out that ice tent I've never been inside of the ice tent the brand Eskimo is a pretty popular brand I've seen a lot of people with Eskimo this particular brand here I'm assuming the doors right here they probably don't want us going in it. They zip tied it. So let's take a look at what we're going to get here. I think I'm not going to buy any weights. I have some sinkers already that I'm going to use. I might get some new line and um, get some other stuff. So the rod and reel here comes with line ready, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab some six pound line here. This is like the cheapest stuff they have eight bucks a pound or eight bucks for 330 yards. I don't really see anything too crazy or too fancy and again we're going really simple i don't want to go all crazy on this trip and if you guys got recommendations you guys can leave in the comment section below man there's too much stuff here guys <laughs> it's overwhelming they got all these jigs and stuff set up here like what the heck now the last time that i did trout fishing was way back in the my teenage years when i was like little and uh, my dad and us, we just used like a regular hook with salmon egg. But now they have all these little things here. It's like super crazy. All these jigs right here, rat glow. This is what I want to use. I don't want to use, um, I don't want to use real food or real bait because it's just so inconvenient. I don't know which one's the best one too. There's so many different kind out here. I might just grab a little bit of everything. Not a little bit of everything, but a little bit of something. I care. This is a $16 piece. So I'm going to hold off on the jigs for now. My buddy is telling me that the trout magnet that he uses is at Walmart. So I'm just going to grab these three items and then head down to Walmart. But while we're here, you guys know the drill. Let's go check out the ammo section. Ammo section. This isn't an ammo shortage video. But you know what? They got some good ammo here. 2506, 6 mil. 6.8. 76251 270 nice haven't seen 270 for the longest time here <coughs> 76239 10 bucks some 308 147 grain 71 guys 556 five, needle two two three hundred forty for the two hundred round they got some 308 right here All right, this is my first time seeing this brand what is this this is Eggman 1950 I never seen you until now and two two three $21. Yeah, these guys are what? This is crazy. This is a 20 round cartridge. Yeah, let me know if you guys have shot these before. This is my first time seeing this particular brand. This is crazy. 223, 55 grain. This is a 20 cartridge, too. I like the box, it's very discreet, looks nice. This is my first time seeing those guys. P Mags. P Mags running you $18. Sorry for all you Californians. $10. 
10 mil. <laughs> Super extra. for these nine mil right here. But I think I'm gonna grab one box or two. Reload section, 30 cal, 22 cal, nine mil. Brass, they got some clean brass through a brass. So that's pretty much it, guys. They got some 9mm brass black blazer. I'm just gonna grab a box of this because I have a new toy coming in. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, stop by Walmart and see what Walmart has to complete our fishing trip here, fishing gear trip. Here at the local Walmart, so see what kind of jigs they have for uh, our fishing setup. With the year ending, I also had to renew my license. We're gonna go with this stuff right here. <laughs> 